Hello all, it's your Cheshire Canary, Rhonda. How you doing? And yes, I've uh, succumbed to the fidget spinner. It is what it is. Just wanted to pop on here real quick and let you know that there's a lot going on in my life right now. Um, finally found that new job. It's actually a new career that I really kind of like. It's it's a one part of trucking that I really enjoyed, which is serving the customer. Wow, I'm shaking the camera a lot, but that's okay. I don't edit. Um, so I've been dealing with that. I also had an instance where something really, really dumb happened. My daughter and I around Christmas got a piercing for headaches. It's called a daith piercing. It's this cartilage area right here on your ear that if you get a piercing through it is supposed to help migraines and it actually has helped my daughter a lot and while I had mine in it helped my ocular migraines I don't know if you've ever had them but they're kind of like looking through a kaleidoscope but you're not but that's what it looks like the only clear vision you have is straight in front of you and the rest of it is all sparkly kaleidoscopy I had my first one as, a, I believe, a freshman in college. Um, freaked me out. But that's okay. Now I know what it is. It doesn't hurt, but it freaks you out because your vision's really messed up. But I digress. My pier We got piercings. They went fine. They were healthy. They were wonderful. One night, I slept on mine wrong. And it rotated. Uh, my daughter and I both had a heart with an opal in it. And mine rotated on its own, completely upside down, tore. What I found out later was it became infected. Now when it became infected, I was taking care of it, not thinking anything of it. It was getting better. The next thing I know, I get, in, I get into my new job. I pull into work. This is in April. And I all of a sudden start feeling funny. My right arm goes straight and I'm honking my horn, begging, that was nice, that's okay, begging the person that was there in the parking lot with me for help. And then I really don't clearly remember the next couple of days. What had happened was that little infection that I got from my piercing, the infection had gone into my brain and it caused me to have seizures. So while I was pumped full of mega doses of antibiotics, um, I'm a postmenopausal woman, things started happening again that shouldn't. Long story short, uh, very soon, probably next month, with some of the testing I had done in the hospital and since then, I get to have women's surgeries done and probably both of them at the same time. If you know me, um, I did have a cardiac incident where I had a heart attack in October of 2015 and I have a stent in my heart so I, I take blood thinners. Um, so these two procedures are going to get done at the same time. The reason being is so I don't have to be off my blood thinners for so long. So, you know, hey, yay me. Um, but I'll get two procedures done. Neither one of them will take very long. Um, one is called a hysteroscopy, I believe, and a DNC. And then, um, they may install an IUD in my lady parts. Um, just for the progesterone. Um, even though all of my biopsies that I had on my lady part um, came back negative and I came back negative for anything else it's just a uh, preventative well meanwhile while they were taking care of the lower part of the lady parts they decided to give me some extra squishes on the upper part of my lady parts and once after the second squishing they blew up a picture of my tata bigger than my head and they saw a small pattern of teeny tiny dots even blown up bigger than my head and they aren't that big um, 
it looked like the size of a, the tip of a ballpoint pen. Not very big, five or six of them. Nothing screamed cancer, but what they're deciding to do is, at least unless they change their mind again, um, I'm going to go have them taken out as well. So while I'm under the knife for one thing and under general anesthetic, we're going to do the other as well. So what I'm going to do is kind of refocus my vlog on, you know, not only being a single mom, but some of the challenges of being 50 now and a single mom of a high school senior, yay, who I'm very, very proud of and plans to be a forensic, I can't remember, something in forensics. I can't remember the specific type because she told me once and then it kind of flew out of my head. Um, but I'm really proud of her. And now it's going to bug me because I can't remember what it is. Hmm. Anyhow, it's alright, let it go. So that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to document the travels of my health that's going on, making things work, and to be quite honest, a little more of my faith journey. I've been going through a metamorphosis over the past year, um, because it's been a year since I was let go from my position of 19 years. Um, and I stopped after 30 years of holding a steering wheel. It's, it's time to do something grown up and that's what I'm doing. And we'll talk more about that later. But this is kind of the relaunch of my channel. I'll be doing vlogs until I get enough viewers up so I could like actually do, I don't know, a live stream? That'd be fun. An open conversation. Um, men, women, little single parents that later on life, you know, they thought they were in invincible and now they're falling apart, you know, it is part of life. Um, trying to stay hip with the, school, with the cool kids, but most of the kids that my daughter goes to school with could be my kids, so it's just a weird dynamic all over. But I'm rambling and that's okay, because that's what this channel is, it's a little bit of venting, because I'm going to do some of that because I have a lot of things I like to vent about as well as tooting my ho horn literally and figuratively um, because music will always be part of this channel you know check out the video links I, I, I absolutely adore being a musician and I'm so incredibly blessed by God that I can still do it God and the surgeons that he placed in my life and the way he's touched my life. But once again, I digress. So this is a relaunch of the Cheshire Canary. I am still the Cheshire Canary because you never n quite know what this smile is about. So I'm going to say ta-ta for now. Have a great day. Have a great week. And as always, keep smiling. Bye now.